in today's video i'm gonna be showing you what's inside uh logospress noayo science chemistry one so if you are interested just keep on watching hi guys welcome back to our channel or if you're new welcome alita bell here i am a homeschooling mom of two ages seven and soon to be six year old uh, currently, we are doing Chemistry 1 and our curriculum is from Logos Press, so it's Noayo Science. Uh, we are currently doing this. We literally just finished um, week 29. Chemistry 1 is divided into 36 weeks and then 11 units. Uh, today, we finish week 29, uh, unit 9, which is about plastics. And then we still have two more units left. This is the instructor's guide for chemistry one, grades one, two, three. Actually, they have uh, ages here, uh, grades one, two, three, ages five to eight, biology one, physics one, and chemistry one. Last year, we did biology, and this year, we are doing chemistry one and then this upcoming school year we are going to do physics one this is a table of contents so introduction weekly reading and experiment as i said earlier this is divided into 11 units unit one the scientific method uh, how scientists learn and then unit two what matter is so we did we made an experiment, uh, oobloc, and then solids and liquids, gases, phases of matter. Unit 3, about atoms and elements. And then the, the word of the very small inside the atom, and then the periodic table. In Unit 4, we'll learn about compounds and molecules. So week 9, compounds. Week 10, solutions. Week 11, solvents and solutes. Unit 5, three phases of matter. So we'll learn the three phases of matter. Unit 6, chemical reactions. So week 14, chemical changes, chemical reactions, reactions with heat, acids and bases. So we did an experiment here with a red cabbage and then vinegar. Unit 7, Properties of Liquids, uh, talking scientifically about liquids, and then weight and volume. Week 21, Surface Tension in Water, more Surface Tension in Water. Week 23, Surface Tension in Other Liquids. Week 24, Bubbles. Week 25, Water and the Weather. And then Unit 8, Fun Formulas. So week 26, we learn formulas. Week 27, tasty formula. So these are the experiments that we can eat. Unit 9, plastics. This is a misprint. Uh, they put uh, the digestive system and kidneys. It's supposed to be recycling plastics. In Unit 10, we are going to learn the life of George Washington Carver. Unit 11, the last unit, uh, is about rocks and minerals. So week 32, we are going to learn geology. And then week 33, crystals. Week 34, more crystals. And then week 35, minerals. And the last week, we are going to learn fossils. Yay! This is what's inside the instructor's manual. I just picked a random week. So this is week 8, the periodic table. And then there's a schedule there day one day two day three day four we only do science twice a week on tuesdays and thursdays so just like this one day one and day two i will combine it we will do it uh in one day that if the experiment is not too long because sometimes there are experiments that take longer to get the result uh if on that day the experiment are shorter so i will combine two days worth of lessons that is just how i do it and then at the back of this one is uh your guide 
and so on. And this is the student's uh, lab manual. This is what's inside this student's lab manual. This is uh, my son's drawing. Uh, and then reading notes and definition. This is about the pygmy shrew. There are days that we only do reading notes and then definitions. There are days uh, when we do the experiment. This is what it looks like, what I did, what I saw, and then what happened or why it happened. And then it's optional if they want to draw something. I'm going to show you the books that we used and we are going to use because there, I believe there are two more books left. So this is the very first book, uh, Mad Margaret. And this one, what's the matter in Mr. Whisper's room? Many kinds of matter. This one, what's smaller than a pygmy shrew? Here we learn about the protozoa and the smallest thing on earth. <laughs> the next book is Chemistry, the Atom and Elements. So we learn here, we learn about neutrons, protons, electrons. Yeah, the atom stuff. <laughs> And then the next one is the elements. Uh, so we learned the table of elements, which is very cool. The next book is Super Science Concoctions. We literally just finished this last week. We were on this book for forever. <laughs> like, when can we be done with this book? I mean, the experiments are fun, but it's just kind of like, can we be done with this book? So I skipped some experiments. Don't tell my kids. I mean, really? <laughs> oh no, my daughter here. <laughs> the next book I have is The Dynamic World of Chemical Reactions but with Max Action. This was fun, it's very short. Uh, we love this and yeah, it's like a comic type book. This book was fun, uh, a drop of water. And then this one, uh, pop a book about bubbles. So we made a homemade uh, bubbles, which was very fun. And then the kids had a blast. The next book, Everyday Materials, Plastic. We learn about recycling and the importance of recycling. And then the kids learn that contact lenses are made from plastic so it was very cool i have two books left for our science which is george washington carver so next week we will start with this one and i think we will be on this book for two weeks and then on the remaining weeks of our science life is we are going to study rocks and minerals I am excited with this one. So if you will buy a uh, Novayo Science curriculum, uh, it will come with a kit, experiment kit. So I have some here that we have not used yet because we are not done. I have the kit eight. Uh, it's about crystals. This is heavy. Kit nine is about fossils. So everything that I need for the experiment are here. Except for if you need water, just get water from our sink. And then I have kit 7 is about minerals. So, and I actually have this one. Uh, this is a type of rock, uh, geode. Geodes are rock with a secret. So we have to use a hammer and break this and see what's inside and see what's the secret. I believe there's a crystal inside or something. Oh, that's gonna be cool. I know some families are still doing their curriculum shopping for the school year 2022-2023. I hope this video serves purpose to you and thank you so much for watching. See you on my next video. Bye!